Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the first question is Chargov found that the amount of adenine in DNA uh, always match the amount of and you have to choose uh, the correct answer. Uh, I want you to pay attention uh, to the word matched. He doesn't state that uh, adenine base pairs with another uh, base but he have found that whenever uh, we have uh, say 20% of adenine we also would find 20% of thymine and this give us uh, together 40% so another 60% would also be split between guanine and um, cytosine so, based on this information, later Watson and Crick have been able to define the structure of the DNA and there were a lot of uh, other information. So, basically, Watson and Crick uh, took known uh, pieces of information and just assembled them, just like a puzzle, into one picture. And uh, Chargaff uh, findings have been very important and uh, now we know that adenine is base pairs with thymine and uh, guanine base pairs with cytosine that's why the amount is always equal and for example if we would have say 10% of adenine we can find any amount of any other base so if we know that adenine represents 10% then we can say that uh, thymine also would equal to 10%. Together, these two bases would make 20%. So 100% minus 20 gives us 80%. And now we know that uh, percent of the guanine would be 40% and cytosine would make another 40%. So together we have uh, 100 percent so uh, as you see it is very easy to solve such problems because today's video is going to be very easy i also want to talk about second chargaff's rule uh, he have found that uh, in one species this balance uh, of the adenine thymine guanine and cytosine is always the same for example uh, this balance would be the same for all people but between species we can find variation but once again within species there is no variation so all representative of the same species would have uh, the same uh, proportions of the adenine thymine guanine and cytosine so as you see uh, according to this picture adenine uh, amount always equal to amount of thymine and now we know that adenine base pairs with thymine that uh, would be explanation of the equal amounts and next question the orientation of the two strands of the DNA in the double helix is answer a conservative b semi-conservative uh, and uh, as you know this describe uh, replication of the double stranded DNA and we know that replication of the double-stranded DNA is semi-conservative. But our question is about orientation, not about replication. So we have to choose between answer C, parallel, and D, anti-parallel. And uh, if this is going to be uh, double-stranded DNA, if we have 5 prime end here, on the other end, we would have 3 prime end. And second strand of the DNA would have 5 prime and here and 3 prime and here. So double stranded DNA is anti parallel. And this is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. 
share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.